All right, friends, welcome back to the sawmill. I got something that might be pretty interesting on the sawmill today. This is hard maple. It's been on the ground for, how long has it been on the ground? Let me think back here for just a minute. Bear with me. Talk to much yourself while I'm sitting here thinking for a minute. Uh, at least 18 months, at least 18 months. It came from a local uh, building site and I'm not sure why I didn't saw it up until now, but there's about four of these and I just forgot about them, I guess, who knows. But the good thing about maple is it will spot when it's on the ground and when it spots, it makes it worth more money if you get it in time. If you let it lay too long and it spots too much, it will just start rotting right through the middle. But if you catch it at the right time, you get spotting and you also get good quality lumber out of it or boards rather. And, uh, this right here should be okay, but if you don't get it soon enough, of course it's gonna rot all the way through. But also, if you get it too early and spalting is what your goal is, it's not gonna be what you like. We'll have spalting on the sapwood on the edge of the boards, but it will go away once you go in toward the heartwood and toward the middle of your boards. It just doesn't turn out as well, and you miss it. It's something you gotta just hit just right. And I've tried all kind of different methods over the years, and what I found the best thing that works for me on something like this is just forgetting about it, like I did on this. So get you a log like this and forget about it. And hopefully you'll get to it before it rots. But like I was saying, this is hard maple. It's about eight feet long. The diameter is, I can't remember. I measured it before I poured this coffee. And uh, man, it's good coffee. I can't remember what it is. It's uh, 18 inches. 18 inches on the operator's side down here where you guys can't see me we're looking at. 19 inches. Now this log does have a little bit of a sweep to it. So I'm gonna saw the belly first and then I'll flip it 180 and do the horns. And if you're not familiar with those terms, I've done a lot of videos about this in the past. And once we square this up, we're gonna do five quarter boards. Now let me touch on a few things here and we'll get started. Number one, I think about three weeks ago, I hit 150,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. Well, since we hit that milestone, we're gonna do a giveaway here. It's gonna be something you guys really like. So there's only one rule to this giveaway. Well, well, wait a minute here. There's several rules. I'm getting ahead of myself. The first rule is to enter this giveaway, you have to live in the United States. And I apologize to my friends overseas, but shipping right now is unreliable out of this country to other places. And it's also extremely expensive. So that's the rule number one, you have to uh, live in the United States or uh, Alaska or Hawaii, that's fine as well. Uh, the second rule is you must be subscribed to this channel and I hope you already are, I'm sure you are. If you're watching this video, you have to leave a comment below saying enter or I wanna enter the giveaway or count me in or something, whatever you wanna say. If you wanna say something kind of funny, that's good as well, I don't really care. Just let me know in the comments below if you wanna enter the giveaway. And you have to be subscribed to my channel, which I already said. And the second thing you gotta be subscribed to is Chris Killinger's channel. It never fails. I'll do a little giveaway announcement or something here. And the neighbor has a dump truck pull up. What's he doing over there? I don't know what the, huh, getting some rock brought in. So anyways, where was I? All right, so you gotta be subscribed to my channel. Comment below, live in the United States, and you also have to be subscribed to Chris Killinger's channel. All these links are in the video description. The prize that we're gonna be giving away is the highly sought after suspenders that you guys see me wear on this channel. I'm actually, uh, I'm wearing them today. I wear them all the time. So you make sure you're subscribed to both channels because I don't know which one will do the announcement on the winner. We'll have to wait and see on that. And once the winner's announced, you'll have like a day or two to get in touch with us to arrange delivery. And I'm also gonna have Farm Focus send the winner some of their uh, new coffee they make. So you'll get two pounds of coffee from Farm Focus from me and Chris Killinger. Chris Killinger, I don't know why I keep on saying it the wrong way, will be sending you a pair of suspenders. So make sure you enter down below with your comment and follow both channels.
All right, friends, that went pretty good. We got it squared up. We'll probably get some 12 inch wide boards out of this. And uh, there's a little bit of spotting going on. Not as much as I would like to see, to be honest with you. I got a little bit on the top right here. I've got a lot of blade tracking, some ripples on this front face. And that's because I was kind of going slow. I had my camera down here on the other end and I knocked it down twice. I was trying to watch my cameras. I need to move them back just a little. I'm trying to get them up closer so you guys can see the sawmill running. But uh, sometimes that happens. And since I was going slower, I was getting some washboard effect right here. It's still flat, it ain't gonna matter. Once it's kiln dried, it goes through a planer. But uh, I like to see it as smooth as I could get it, so I don't like that. But as long as it's square and I'm getting the uh, consistency on my thickness, that's what matters. Something else here, friends, I know you guys saw me using this. A buddy of mine named Rooster, he made this for me and it's for clearing off sawdust and it's a lot bigger than my drywall scraper. The drywall scraper, what is it? It's over here. Uh, it's 12 inches. This thing is almost 20 inches. Works really good. It's got a pretty good uh, long handle on it right there. So uh, I'm gonna test this out over the next few weeks and let him know what I think. Now, I don't know if he's gonna make these and sell them. This may just be a one-time deal, who knows? So don't ask me that in the comments below. But if he does decide to make these and sell them, you guys will be the first one to know, put it that way. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. Let's see what's inside this log. The spotting may surprise me, famous last words. Who knows, we'll see.